As I understand, uh, the, the numbers on the other side was uh, something which came about over the last few days. Um, we were notified of that and we didn't want the family of the victim to be intimidated in any way. Um, so have you seen something like this I, I personally haven't, um, but you know, I mean, there may have been other cases where that's happened. But in, you know, we thought uh, an abundance of caution have the police present. Um, to ensure that the victim's family wasn't intimidated in any way by coming here. Um, and that's, that's why the police presence was there. So it wasn't that there was a threat or something, it was that you heard that a lot of people were going to be here we, for Mr. Shu. Yeah, Shoe. yeah, we knew that there were going to be a large number of people that were coming, or potentially a large number of people that were going to come. And in order to prevent a security issue, or in order to prevent anything that, that may have come about as a result of this, I mean, obviously a case like this is going to be very emotionally charged from both sides. Mm -hmm. um, just out of abundance of caution, the police presence was there to ensure that, that there wasn't a security issue arising at some point. And he will be deported after his release. That's what we understand. We understand that given his immigration status, at once at deport or once the if he ever does get parole, that he will be deported. Do you know the background as to what he, is he American or is he Canadian? I understand that he's American. I understand he was born in the United States, and and that's where he'll be deported to if and when he ever gets parole. So him back to I don't, I don't know that. Like, no, I mean from a, as a childhood, from, what I, from his childhood, from what I understand. I don't have any details of that.